Hello world. I've got a super, super fun deck for you guys today, and it is going to be a Totem Shaman deck. So we got a couple new cards from the wild back into standard that really make this deck shine. Uh, one of them is going to be Thing From Below, uh, which gets discounted for every totem that you play. Now, so I figured we'd build a deck entirely around the totem synergy because uh, that way we can get it out a lot faster than if we were just using our hero power. And then another card that we got back from Wild into Standard is Evolve. So we're just going to have a bunch of the really busted Evolve mechanics. For example, you can use something like Desert Hair into an Evolve for three, four mana cost creatures. Uh, you can also use a Mogu Flesh Shaper in there as well too to get him Evolved. And then we always have the busted Mutate and the Flesh Shaper combination in here. Now there aren't too many good totems in standard. So what I ended up having to use is the amalgams as totems since they do count for it. So we have a couple copies of the nightmare amalgams and a couple copies of the henchclan hags because they summon a couple amalgams as well, which count as totems. And we also have the evil totem, which we all know is very, very powerful in any kind of shaman deck. So since we do use the evil totem, I figured we can go ahead and splash some uh, lackey synergy in here as well too with the evil cable rat and the sludge slurper and the weaponized wasp and this helps us really get ahead on board to utilize these wide boards that we're making with like the henchclan hags and desert hares and so forth now one question that you may be asking me is but funky why do you have splitting axe in this deck isn't it a garbage card and usually yes it is but in this case you can actually get a lot of value out of it even though that splitting axe uh, is a very undervalued or understated weapon, you can usually get at least one more Nightmare Amalgam or a couple more Amalgams from your Henchclan Hag out of it as well too. Uh, and it just really fits on curve. You can go ahead and play an Evil Totem on two into a Nightmare Amalgam on three and then copy both of them with your splitting axe. And you'll see an example in one of the clips in this video uh, about how powerful it can be if played on curve and just copying just one minion. And then since we are having a, a wide board most of the time with like these desert hares and the hench clan hags and all these totems, uh, and then we're playing these things from below pretty cheap, we're filling up the board pretty quickly. So that's why I included a copy of Bloodlust and Stormbringer to help kind of close out those games. But overall, I've had a ton of fun with this deck so far. Uh, it feels really strong. I've only played a few games with it, but I haven't lost yet. So I'm going to keep playing it even more. And I hope you guys have a ton of fun playing it as well too. So if you guys like this video, then don't forget to press the like button. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. But for now, let's get into some gameplay. But yeah, especially with that new, uh, what is it, Imp Gang boss. So good against all these uh, tempo mages and whatnot as well. Um, okay, don't need that. Mogu is really good. Don't need the splitting axe without any totems. Yeah, let's go this way. This meta is shaping up nice for my mech hunter. I'm 10 and 5 since the new update. Dang! I wonder why. Uh, maybe because decks are just getting greedier. So, um, yeah, yeah, maybe that's why. Because maybe games are more, or uh, decks are more controlling or greedier. And mech hunter is just really fast. So I could see that. Wait, Evil Totem and Totemic Surge. Hmm. <laughs> or... Or I could just do Nightmare Amalgam here. Yeah, I'm just going to coin out the Amalgam here. Um, if he heals that and goes face, I can always Totemic Surge just to uh, make sure I kill it. Funky, this Malleolus is actually really good in the rank 10 meta. I'm crushing fools. Nice! Dude, that's awesome. Um, I think so far the worst matchup that I've faced is uh, is Hunters, just because they're so, so fast. Ugh. Um, let's see here. Could do another Amalgam and just Totemic Surge these guys. Another 5 fours. Yeah, that seems alright. So now he can't do like divine spirit type stuff. Uh, he could heal this back up to full though, either with the um, Neferset Ritualist or the Circle of Healing. Let's see if he's got either one of them. No. Oh, he's gonna Psycho Pomp, that's right, okay. 
That makes sense. Ooh, Earth Shock. Heck yeah, man. Oh, this is so good. And then, uh, what do I clear? Probably the this dude. Kind of sucks that I can't really evolve this, but I mean, at least we're getting ahead on board. <laughs> so what's your record right now, Exiles? Are you like, what, 5-0 or something like that? Oh my gosh, there's so much snow out right now. It's days like these that I'm really glad um, I stream indoors <laughs> so I don't have to go outside. Let's see. Ooh, heck yeah, man. Hopefully this gives us a good lackey. Okay, I'll take it. Man, all these kind of suck here. But I guess Lightning Storm. Now we get a head on board. I see bad most Shaman decks have moved um, on from Pure Evolve to doing the quest right again. Oh, really? Huh. I still think that like the whole Evolve mechanic is good in the right deck. I don't think it's been refined yet. But once it does get refined, it's going to be, yeah, kick-ass. Um, let's just Lightning Storm here, I think. Aw, oh, shoot, we can't really Stormbringer next turn, then. Eh, that's alright. But at least we get this uh, Lackey Generator going on. I think that's the most important thing. Hunter hasn't given me the same issues. I beat two Hunters, I'm 6-2. and two. Really? Huh. How do you tend to beat hunters? Or like, what are you, I guess like in general, what are you mulliganing for? Besides spirit, obviously. What else are you mulliganing for? Because maybe that's my issue, is maybe I'm just, I'm not paying attention to my matchups. Let's see what this gives me here. Delirium with the raid. Thank you so much, Delirium. Oh man. Two raids in one day. You guys are all awesome. <laughs> Um, I think I just go Lightning Bolt here. Yeah, because now this is a full clear. Uh, let's see what this gives me first. Not a Doomsayer. Okay. Alright, so now I get a pretty good Stormbringer next turn. Oh, this is going to be a killer Storm... Oh my gosh, this is going to be a killer Stormbringer. I can Stormbringer on seven minions? Oh, baby. Oh, man, Delirium, you came at the perfect time to watch me just meme bring her here. <laughs> but yo, Delirium, thank you so much for the host. How was your stream? All right, meme bringer, let's go. All right, anything that we want to mutate here? Um. No, nah, that's all right. Maybe you mutate the curator. Two Renos. Dang, seven. No, we definitely want to mutate the gentle eye. Yeah, mutate the gentle eye. There we go. That's pretty good. And now we get a good bloodlust next turn. Hey. <laughs> oh, let's do the mech pally and the Murgle, Murgle, Murgle pally. <laughs> Really? You're still seeing Murloc Paladins. I haven't seen a single Murloc Paladin since the update. Okay, well, we keep Evolve for sure. Um, this is going to be like a Tempo Mage. Um, Evil Totem is okay, kind of maybe forces him to expend a Burn spell on it. Mm. Might be okay. I mean, we're kind of curving here. So we got the two into three. I really want like a, oh, here we go. Okay, this is a sweet curve. So we got two into three into four. Hopefully this Nightmare Amalgam sticks, we can copy it. That would be sick if that happens. We've already summoned one totem. This will summon two totems. This can actually summon a copy of both of them if he doesn't kill it. He's probably gonna ping this, right? Oh. Um, got gifted the flex bundle. Dude, and you got three legendaries out of 20? What? Wait, no, aren't you guaranteed a legendary too, right? 
but what the heck dude that's crazy i'm free to play so i'm pretty happy yeah i mean anybody would be happy with that whether you're free to play or not holy smokes that's just exciting stuff Janelai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I was figuring too. Um, all right, so do I splitting axe right now and summon a copy of the Amalgam, or do I just hench clan Hag and summon a copy of the One Ones? Um, he's, with the coin, he could potentially pop off next turn with a Flame Waker, so I think I do splitting axe here. Hey, Rasai, Rasai, look at this play. Equipping a 3-2 weapon and getting a free Nightmare Amalgam. You like that? Yeah, you like that? That one's just for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, Yo, yeah. Yo, Beth's Angels. Thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Just a coincidence, Funky is a friend of mine? Yeah. Dude, Exiles. One of these years, like for like BlizzCon or TwitchCon or something like that, like I really hope that we could meet up sometime. I would just be stoked. Stoked McGoked. Okay. Um <laughs> Um guys. Um Um guys. Um Let's see what we evolve and do first. Um, no, 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 we do on attack first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's attack first. Before I hit this with my face. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, <laughs> yeah, hope for no Doomsayer. I don't think I had any one mana cost things, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. This one right here. I guess it could have been a doomsayer. That could have been bad. Gotta go. Have a good day, evening, night. Hey, thank you so much for the raid as well, Delirium. You have a great day as well. Mucho appreciated. Dude, I had the same reaction, but it's rush, not charge. I know, right? Imagine if like I got some chargers in there too. That'd be just... Ah. Rank 5? What happened here? Wait, what do you mean? I was rank 5 all day today, Dolphin. <laughs> Yeah, I started the stream at rank five. I just didn't climb any. I just had a lot of bad luck today. But, I mean, hey. Sometimes that happens. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no way! What is this? What is going on? Yeah, so I can do four, one, and then evolve all that. Okay, yeah, let's do that. It means I have to kill some stuff off first. Um, let's hit that. Right, so some stuff gets ch uh, rush. Like this. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, did we miss lethal? I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care if we miss lethal. That was just too cool. It was too cool not to do. <laughs> it's build your own Mally with spell totems. Yeah, right? Oh my gosh. That was absolutely insane. Um, so the thing from below, we do have one totem here. Is this still too expensive? If we get one more totem, which we have like, what, five more in the deck, then this will be four mana, and then we can kind of curve. I'll keep it. I'll keep it, actually, yeah. This won't work? No, I never said that. I never said that, guys. Stop putting words into my mouth. I just said it wasn't going to be competitive. I have a YouTube video to prove it. I remember exactly what I said in my uh, in my YouTube video. Well, I actually got to head out to Fresno now. Hey, well, hey, thanks for stopping by, Rasai. Always a pleasure talking with you. I'm glad you could actually stop by uh, my stream for once. So 
Yeah, great seeing you in chat. And hey, have fun at the fair. Have fun gaining 20 pounds um, of all the fair food. <laughs> hmm. I guess we just towed him here. <laughs> oh gosh, that's bad. But I mean, I guess it does discount this. Um, next turn, we can Hench Clan Hag. I'm pretty sure this is the deck that I said that about. Okay, so it discounts these two things. Awesome, awesome. I mean, heck, this is like not a bad bloodlust, but we can get better. Uh, I don't want to be going too much into like a uh, mm, mass hysteria. That's what it's called. Yo, what's up, Regzin and Vakuna? I take it uh, Dexter's stream must have just ended if you guys are popping on over. <laughs> How you guys doing today? What's up, what's up? Um, I don't want to play this other thing from below. I am kind of afraid of a uh, mass hysteria turn. I don't want to overload either, though. Because I want to be able to, like, Urshock and Bloodlust next turn. Let's do this. Ugh, do I want to go all in with, like, thing from blows? There's a lot of stuff on the board. Okay, let's just play one of these Sludge Slurpers here. Because this is still lethal here with a Bloodlust. If he doesn't do much. Okay, yeah. So he did have the Mass Hysteria. So good thing I waited um, to play these things from Belows. How's the stream? It's going awesome. We're playing some pretty sweet decks. You guys just missed it. We just played like a Malagos Shaman deck, which was actually pretty decent. Uh, we definitely need to practice with that, but it was pretty good. Pretty decent. Um, all right, discover and evolve. Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, Ancestral Spirit's actually pretty good with the thing from below. Ooh, soul the Murloc. <gasps> so even if he does light bomb us, we have lethal here with uh, Bloodlust. Oh, heck yeah, man. So one, two. Thing from below. Thing from below, sold a Murloc. We should have lethal next turn with the Bloodlust. Um, unless he like, no, even if he mass spells, nah, we should have lethal, right? Cause we've got Bloodlust Urshock, even if he puts a taunt down. I've been lurking, I'm trying out that new Tavern Brawl. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I haven't tried it yet. How do you guys like the new Tavern Brawl? <laughs> Dexter's ne stream never ends, it only rests. <laughs> true dats, true dats. All right, well, we got lethal here, so... Hey, Here, let's just make sure we got lethal. <laughs> let's just make sure. 3-0 with this deck, guys! Totem Shaman is a thing. I will keep weaponized Wasp with this Totem. Um, no, so if he's playing Quest, this is really good to... Um, Silence a reborn minion if he's playing any like secrets like this this will still see some play no matter what against paladin funky doesn't win or lose he finishes with the exactly of the results he determined exactly exactly i could just urshock this right now just to make sure it doesn't like get too big and then i evil totem or I evil cable rat. And then on turn four, I can coin out, or turn three, I can coin out the lackey with the wasp. Yeah, this is okay. So depending on what he does here, I can just play an evil cable rat and this will trade. Okay. Oh my gosh, no, I don't want to give him any more uh, murlocs, dang it. Is he gonna make a value trade here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, this is actually really good, though. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Because <laughs> I'm going to be getting back another lackey with this cable rat anyways. So, okay, okay. Whew. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a new board. I don't know if it's exclusive to this brawl, but it's awesome. It's a Halloween version of the old Doom board. Oh, it must be. I haven't seen it, Regzin, so it must be exclusive. Sweet. <laughs> um, okay. 
Okay, so I don't want to overload. Otherwise, I can't play this wasp. And then we hold on to this lackey here. Wait, no, okay, so this is actually pretty good now. So because this has taunts, we should have a lackey on board that lives with this wasp, right? So he'll, he'll make this trade for sure, but then we can actually wasp and kill that. So he doesn't have like a true silver weapon or something. Okay, good, 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 good. We're set. Yeah, it's a dungeon run thing again. Same uh, heroes as last time, Rafam. Oh, okay, okay. Honestly, I don't know about you guys. I'm kind of uh, getting sick of the whole dungeon run thing. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. I could evolve. Now we can wait on the evolve. We can get a better one. They might make that trade. I may not eat my lunch. I have absolutely no appetites. I blame it on my anxiety from driving through the... Oh, yeah, I don't blame you. How long did it take you to get to work, Morgan? <laughs> dungeon and... Yeah, no, that, that's how I feel. I'm just getting sick of the dungeon runs. Oh, yikers. Um, I think I might actually evolve um, stuff here. So, Kabold Lackey, Sludge Slurper, another Lackey Evolve. Let's see what this gives us here. Ooh. Actually, that was actually really good for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can actually make a trade before we evolve as well. How does this look? Actually, wow, that was really good. Oh, yeah, and the Mana Wraith? Wow, that's really going to screw him over. Oh, heck yeah, man. Okay, that was really good for us. Only 15 more minutes than usual. Okay, I was driving 40 the whole damn time, but I was okay with it. Hey, good. Good, I'm glad you were. Oh, wow, that, that's really awkward trading for him. That's super awkward trades. Okay, so we kind of want to kill this Mana Wraith. Because it kind of does screw us over too now. Ugh. No, I can't. I can't. I think it screws him over more though. So here into here. I don't want a Totemic Surge yet. Could have manatide totemed, but I think I just want to keep generating lackeys from this. He can't kill it yet. Unless he does like tip the scales here in a couple turns. Maybe you should leave the stream open, but no camera chat just for people like me. <laughs> I want to spectate his games. Oh yeah. I mean, you could always just make like an NA account and then become friends with me. Like just be like a rank like 50 or whatever. Um, trade. <sighs> Trade. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that sucked. Wow, a Cho, a Brainstormer. Oh, wow. That was an absolute garbage evolve. Oh, no. Well, what can you do? <laughs> Man, we really needed to draw, like, our thing from below is our Mogu Flesh Shapers, you know, Stormbringers, Bloodlust. Like, we haven't drawn any of our powerful cards. We've just drawn our lower half of the deck. Puzzle Labs are nothing. Yeah, I would love to see that again, too. Puzzle Labs. Yeah. But yeah, I think like the original dungeon run was awesome because it was free, it was unique, it was like a first time thing. And then every single expansion afterwards, they've done the exact same thing, but with just new cards. Um, so it's like, oh cool, I'm doing some more crazy combos, but I've already done crazy combos. 
And then they're charging for us, uh, charging us for them too. Yeah, I agree. Oh yeah, sure. Now we draw Mogu. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I think we want to give this Brainstormer taunts. This is free. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, this healing totem. That's perfect. Um, like this. Cool. I mean, we can get, what, four damage next turn off of these two totems. Uh, a Bloodlust would actually be sick right here. So I could Bloodlust and Totemic Surge. Prismatic Lens? Uh, I have no use for Prismatic Lens. Man, I really want like a mutate. That would be pretty sweet. Okay, so he has a three mana thing in hand. So it's probably what a cold light oracle or a war leader. Whoa. Face to face, I found Whoa. That's not cool. We should do a co-op. Oh gosh. Well, you're always working though when I'm streaming. It's clear up here is it snowing down there? Uh, yeah, it is. It's snowing a lot. It's snowing like crazy. Um, all this, I get my two Nightmare Amalgams. And that's it. So that's not really worth. Hmm. I guess we Prismatic Lens or something? Getting a Mutate? And I don't know. Bloodlust, that doesn't really do much. Oh man. I mean we just had to use like our things for tempo, right? But But now we're actually drawing the stuff that like mutate or uh evolve would be really good with, like the desert hairs. Yeah, the game is easy to learn, yeah. I mean I've already tried teaching her. She has played before. She's not very good, but she does know how to play. Somewhat. <laughs> Can you even spectate with not basic cards in rank 50? Oh, you can't. Oh, dang it. So you have to go to like rank 25 or yeah, rank 25 then. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Is this lethal here with bloodlust? Wait, wait, wait. No. 15, 20. <gasps> no. No. Totemic Surge for the win? Hold on, I'm curious. Could we have had lethal without Totemic Surge? No! Ah! Oh my gosh, Totemic Surge for the win! Yeah, baby!